Ooh. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Yay. Yes, welcome everyone to one of the best activities about food. Who doesn't like food? Do you like food, Anika? Of course I do. <laughs> okay, excellent. Me too. So, yeah. Um, do you like cooking yeah. as well? Um, if I have all of the ingredients and I have the time, then yes, I like to cook. Mm. But if I am hungry, then mm. I don't like to spend a long time uh, cooking. So mm -hmm. I, I get I get angry when I'm hungry. So when I need food, I get angry, which is like aggressive. <laughs> so yeah. already guys, first learning point of the day, be careful with the difference between hungry with an H hmm. and angry with an A, which is really, uh. Ooh. I know what's happening. Okay. Um, so while we wait for people to join us, Already my comments aren't working, which, which is a great start. <laughs> um, but yeah, why don't you um, start introducing yourself, Anika, and I will... Um, okay. Yeah, I'll go great, after. Great. So um, my name is Anika. I'm originally from Bangladesh, and I grew up in the city of Dhaka. It's the capital city. And oh. I'm 31, and when I was 19, I moved to Malaysia. Oh, we have a viewer here. Great. So Yay, us, welcome. Uh, welcome. So say hi, introduce yourself about uh, where you are, uh, where you live, and so on. And uh, yeah, I've been living in Italy for about six years now. I used to live in Rome mm -hmm. before, and then I've moved here. So where are you from, uh, viewer? And uh, what about Jadine? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm Jadeen, I'm from uh, London in England and I came to Italy in October of last year, so I'm very new um, mm. and I'm 25 and yeah I also teach in the same school as Anika which is mm. the Milano Via Meravigli school. Yeah. So yes, please when you feel comfortable introduce yourself. Tell us your name and where you are from and which school you go to. Okay. Yes. Um, so Anika, do you want to read the first slide? Sure. So today we are going to talk about the following. In this focus activity, adverbs of frequency, um, so which are words like always, never, hardly ever, things like that. We're going to talk about food. And we're going to mm. talk about habits. Okay. And um, what is a habit? So habit, uh, a habit is uh, a behavior that people have and they do regularly. Uh, something they're used to doing. For example, a very uh, common food habit is... Um, to either have breakfast or not. For example, I always have breakfast, mm. but I've got a friend who never has breakfast, so it's just a habit. Okay, good to know. So here we have adverbs of frequency, and frequency just means how often or how many times we do something in a time period. Um, and an adverb is a word we use to describe an adjective or a verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. So adverbs of frequency are words we use to talk about or to describe how frequently or how often we do something. Mm -hmm. So here we have six different adverbs of frequency, but they are all in the wrong order. So we have never, sometimes, usually, often, always, and hardly ever. Um, and before we start ordering these words, I just want to point out that sometimes and always, always end in S, okay? 
because sometimes I hear people say sometime, but it's not sometime, it's always the plural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> exactly. So, Anika, uh, mm -hmm. which of these words do you think comes first? So, if you do something like a hundred percent of the time, uh, you do it always. So, I don't know which order we're going, like if it's the other way, but. Yay! <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, that's As good. You said, always is 100% of the time. Yes. So, for example, hmm, if I have to talk about myself, um, I always. Hmm. I think it's hard to find something that I always do. <laughs> But I think I always, um, I always make sure I drink a lot of water. Oh, that's a good, good habit. Yeah, it's true. Um, and I, no, I don't think I have. I always have breakfast. It's true. I oh, have good. breakfast every day. Uh, I always mm. have breakfast. It's... Yeah, they say it's the most important meal of the day. Yeah, but you know, probably everyone is different because I hear all sorts of different stuff. I knew a couple who mm -hmm. used to fast, so they used mm -hmm. to not eat until the oh. afternoon and they heard mm -hmm. that that was better just as their diet, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh. And a diet, guys, can be two things. So a diet can be um, your eating habits or your eating patterns. However you eat, this is your diet. Um, but a diet can also be the noun of a special eating routine or food routine that you are doing in order to lose weight for a or for a specific purpose. So we all have a diet anyway, however I eat, however Anika eats, that's our diets. But maybe before summer, uh, I want to lose some weight or maybe I want to get really, really muscly. So I decide to go on a special diet that is full of protein. Um, yeah, exactly. Just like Anika has put in the comments. Perfect. So diet can be your eating habits or it can be a special eating routine to lose weight or change shape, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we have always, and then Anika, mm -hmm. what comes after oh, always? I think uh, it should be usually, like you don't do it all the time. I agree. But most of the time, I would say usually. Yeah, I was I was undecided between usually and often, but then I think usually is more frequent than often yeah i think so too if you because if something is usual then it's very normal to do if you um go to a coffee shop mm -hmm. or a pub or bar all the time and you mm -hmm. drink the same thing uh they the bar staff or the the employees at this place mm -hmm. may say this is your usual because it's what you have most of the time. Hmm. Yeah, it's really nice when they actually know your usuals. <laughs> yeah, but then sometimes you might want to change. <laughs> You're like, no, I want <laughs> to do something different. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything, Anika, that you usually do? Yes, I, um, I don't always eat out uh, for breakfast. But when I do, I usually um, have a croissant and a cappuccino. It's Aww. my favorite breakfast. Yeah. That's nice. A sweet croissant or? A sweet one. I usually order it with chocolate. <laughs> I'm crazy very for chocolate. Italian. Yeah. Oh, really? But I don't always I didn't have this kind of breakfast, though, only when I have a lot of time and I want to, I don't know. Uh, do a little bit of writing or something. Okay, uh, nice so you can really enjoy it. Yeah. So when I do, I usually 
uh, order cappuccino and croissant. Okay. What about you, Jaden? What is something you usually do or um, eat? For food. So in the evening, I usually eat um, fish with mm -hmm. some kind of bean or pulse. So a pulse mm -hmm. is like lentils or chickpeas. Mm -hmm. um, because I don't like to eat too many heavy carbs in the evening mm. before I go to sleep. Um, and usually in the day, I'll eat something like pasta or rice when mm. I need more energy. But not always, mm -hmm. because sometimes in the evening I want pasta or I want pizza. But mm -hmm. usually I will not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Okay. Okay, so we have always, usually, and then. And then we have often. Exactly. And I noticed you didn't pronounce the T. So you say oh, often. Yeah, yeah I, I normally don't. I usually don't pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's funny. Um, it's completely fine to not pronounce the T or to mm. pronounce it. Personally, I say often. Mm. And my T is very clear. But I know mm. in more American English mm. accents, um, which I think yours is a little bit, Anika, a bit more American. Um, yeah. They tend not to pronounce the T. So either mm. way is fine. True. I like I like the sound of often, though. Yeah, I think I want to switch to often. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm free to choose. I'm not for either of these places, so. <laughs> Fair enough. I like that. Playing with, so, pushing the boundaries of language. <laughs> yeah, why not? It sounds cool to me. So Makes what is something up. you do very often, Jaden? Something I do often. Um, I often teach webinars. <laughs> um, I often call my mum, hmm. actually. So it's something I do quite a lot if I do it often. I call my mum yeah sure um as for me if i have to talk about my food habits i oft i often eat rice <laughs> i love rice mm -hmm. um although these days i think i often uh, more often than rice i eat pasta because it's just easier really? to cook but the, all the rice it's, uh, i think a it's a lot faster hmm. that's the thing i love about pasta it's just very hmm. quick yeah Okay. okay, so we have always, usually, often, and then. Next up is sometimes. Exactly. And I like to think about sometimes as like 50%, hmm. I think. So if always is 100%, sometimes is about 50%. Hmm. So yeah. Is there anything you sometimes do? Hmm, I was thinking about it. Uh, so sometimes I, mm, that's a hard one. Um, well, sometimes I like to bake. Yeah, I don't often bake, but when I only, okay, sometimes mm, when my friends come over. So when I'm on my own, I don't usually bake, but I sometimes bake when my friends come over. So for those hmm. of you who don't know, baking is um, usually when you make sweets in the oven, you bake it. So, for example, I love baking brownies. Mm. And in mm, summer, I, I love brownies. Baking. Yeah, I've made so many yeah. versions of brownies. Brownies are great. They need to be the right combination of cakey and mm -hmm. gooey. Yeah. So gooey is like really soft and the chocolate is all melted and cakey mm. is like the consistency of a sponge cake. Mm. So they need both. 
Yeah. <laughs> a good combination, a good proportion of ingredients. Exactly. Okay. And for me, hmm, what do you sometimes do? Uh, I sometimes eat oranges. I don't always eat oranges. Um, usually, if I have fruit, I have fruit in the morning. And mm -hmm. I usually, or I can say normally as well, have bananas or some berries. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes if I want to snack later in the day, I'll have an orange. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, very then, healthy diet. Lots of fruits. Um, amazingly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, do, I do nothing physical. So I think oh. it's the only thing keeping me alive. <laughs> oh, I'm the same. I'd rather eat less or the healthier stuff than <laughs> go out there and do some exercise. Basically. Oh, okay. So then we have our last options, hardly ever or never. Hmm. So hardly ever um, is something that you don't often do. I rarely do. That's a good synonym. Mm, rarely is a good synonym. Probably this is easier to remember for Italian students. Very yeah. Similar. Oops. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no worries. Um, so yes, exactly. So is there anything that you hardly ever drink or eat? Um, I hardly ever drink alcohol. <laughs> okay yeah i just don't like the taste that much i tried to like it but then it tastes very bitter for me so mm. i end fine. up hardly ever drinking alcohol what about you anything you drink or eat hardly ever i hardly ever bake i just don't oh, have yeah. you know i don't have the the effort to do it okay. um and you have to add so much sugar and it always makes me feel bad. I mm. often eat sweet things. I like them. Um, if someone else bakes, I will always eat it. But mm. I hardly ever do the baking myself. Oh, good to know. <laughs> okay. And then finally, of course, mm. we have never. And this is like 0%. This is something that you don't do even once, or maybe you did one time and then said, no, I don't want to do this again. Yeah. Um, so is there anything that you never eat or drink? Well, for um, I started this uh, diet recently, like for some months, when, when I never eat meat. So I'm like a pescatarian. I, I, I eat... Oh, me too. I eat eggs but i never eat meat oh you too yeah so <laughs> so a pescatarian is like a vegetarian but they eat fish hmm. have you been a pescatarian for long jading um yeah i think about two years now okay nice um i've only just started for like a few months now Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty you like it? it? Yes, definitely. Mm. I feel healthier. That's good. And I just think there's so much, um, like obviously meat does taste great, but there's just mm -hmm. not, I think, that many benefits to the sure. meat yeah, industry. And mm -hmm. at least in the UK as well, it's quite difficult to get really good quality meat i think and not to mention um, the a lot of it yeah yeah and yeah exactly exactly okay so then uh, anyone who watches this video afterwards because of course you are more than welcome um put in the comments or think yourself about things that you do uh with these different levels of frequency so is there anything that you always do? Is there anything that you often or sometimes do? Um, and is there anything that you never do or have never done? 
Um, and this can be related to food or you can just use them in any sentence that you like. And one point before we move on, Anika was speaking about things that she doesn't often or doesn't usually do. And we can um, or we also make these frequency adverbs negative. So instead of saying I often do something or I hardly ever do something, we can say I don't often do something, which is like saying sometimes or I don't usually do this thing. Um, mm -hmm. It's just the opposite and we put the negation. So we put do not before the adverb. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to say before I move on? Uh, not really. I think you said it all. <laughs> okay. So now we have a range of shopping items and we have some categories. So are these items drinks, fruit, vegetables or do they come in a different category um and i just want to say that vegetables mm -hmm. um we make plural and also usually drinks we make plural if we're talking generally um but fruit is always always singular okay so we don't count it if we're talking about many different fruit we still say fruit in the singular. Okay. Um, so, Anika, would you like to read through this list? Sure. <clears throat> so, eggs, tomatoes, onions, cheese, juice, potatoes, coffee, apples, tea, chocolate, bread, beans, and pasta. Excellent. And can you see any of these items in this picture? Oh, I can see some of them. I can see bread. Okay. Over there, it's a big exactly. loaf of bread. I was going to say bread. <laughs> 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 and I can see some tomatoes, if I'm not wrong, the red. Um, red yes. Things. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, hmm. And there's also something here, but I'm not sure if you can tell. Where? Um, can you see my mouse? Uh, yeah. I is that an apple? The green Exactly. Fruit? So it's a, hmm. yes. So it's a green apple. Um apples can come in different colours, but they are always apples. So we have green apples, red apples, and other brands of apples, but the name doesn't change. Hmm. So, which of these items um, go into each category? Will you help me, Anika? Yes, sure. Um, before we move on forward, though, mm -hmm. I just wanted to point out the pronunciation of vegetables because I hear a lot of students sure. struggling with it. it can be frustrating. Sure, sure. Um, mm -hmm. So, vegetables, um, the second E is silent. So, you don't say vegetables, but vegetables three syllables yeah that's vegetables. a really good point so let's put them into categories so for eggs um eggs are definitely not in the drinks category or fruit <laughs> or vegetables so i would say it's other <laughs> exactly well done and then the next one is a bit tricky. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There's lots, lots of arguments <laughs> about which category this is in. Yeah, well, I know it's you can find it in the vegetable section of the supermarket, but it's not a vegetable. Wow, it's a fruit. I it's would always fruit. say that it's a vegetable because you don't cook it with fruit. <laughs> you would never have a fruit salad with tomatoes, but hmm. I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Wikipedia says that it's a fruit, I think. <laughs> yeah, but I then... think it's because the seeds are inside something like that. Something so about that what the makes seed. a fruit a fruit? 
no definitely not but it's something <laughs> about it's something about the seeds <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember I don't remember but I'm sure it's something about the seeds or okay or mm -hmm. maybe that it grows on a vine I don't know actually mm -hmm. ignore the last minute of everything I said <laughs> <laughs> it's not right I know it's not right mm. okay so then we have onions so onions I would say are definitely vegetables. Yes. Okay, and yeah. then cheese? So cheese uh, for me would be in the other category. Exactly. It's a, yeah, it's a product made out of milk. Mm -hmm. and, and juice. So we have juice here. Juice is, of, of course, a drink. Could be yes. a fruit juice. Yeah. Yes, that's it i guess <laughs> <laughs> and also everybody listen to the pronunciation of the word juice so the mm. u and the i together makes an u sound in this word so juice yeah good point and then we have potatoes uh which goes under vegetables again which i'm having a lot of this day somehow really yeah how how are you having your potatoes because potatoes can be cooked mm -hmm. in many different forms so i've been either baking them or i've been turning them into like kind of a soup kind of thing i cook it with carrots and other vegetables together it's kind of like a okay soup. yeah it's nice um my favorite type of potato is mashed potato Ooh. and mm. it's where you boil them so you mm. cook the potato in hot water the same way you do with pasta um and then when they are soft you mash them up mm -hmm. um so they all just become one soft potato <laughs> yeah. and I, lo I love it I love it. Yeah, me too. Uh, I forgot about mashed potato. I gotta try it yeah. because I've got a lot of potatoes at home. Well, there you go. There you go. Okay, and then we have coffee. Mm -hmm. So coffee is a drink that we of usually course. have in the morning. <laughs> yes, I'm sure the Italians know uh, enough about yeah. coffee. Do you like the Italian coffee, Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I really like coffee, but when I go home mm. to England, I drink a lot more tea. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think tea tastes better in England. I prefer mm. my tea bags. <laughs> but, and prefer <laughs> means I like more. I like more my tea bags. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Italian coffee just tastes better because sometimes at home when you drink coffee, afterwards you feel very heavy. I can't describe it. But in Italy, you always feel very uh, light, so hmm. I'm not yeah. sure why. Hmm. Okay. So then, so then we have apples, which is a fruit. Exactly. Great. And tea goes under drink. Of course, and as well in the UK, if we drink black tea. Mm -hmm. specifically breakfast tea not all black tea but breakfast mm -hmm. tea we always drink it with milk um oh. it's very unusual to drink it without milk whereas mm -hmm. um yeah obviously most well, I most people drinking don't milk drink tea as well uh yeah but oh, in wow. um in bangladesh the tea is very milky right very much so we don't put any water there <laughs> Really? Oh yeah, no! You heat up no, the no. water, but then the the tea leaves are really dark, and um, I would say it's like a substitute for coffee. Okay. So it's like on its own, it's really bitter, and you can't really taste it. Okay. Cool. So then, so then we, we have, have chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, I would put it in the other category. Exactly. Then we have bread, which is also other. Mm -hmm. Beans, um, vegetables, I guess. 
yeah okay so beans for example are um yeah it's an example of what we call a pulse i think yeah. it's a pulse it's a anyway pulse, yeah. so a pulse are foods like lentils or lentiki mm -hmm. um chickpeas to make hummus and beans so cannelloni beans or yeah, hmm. these things and finally pasta is in the others category exactly um we have some other food in this picture as well mm -hmm. so here we have a bottle of oil we mm -hmm. have a bottle of wine we have some grapes which mm -hmm. are used to make wine we have carrots the long orange items broccoli and also here at the back we have milk and milk and cheese so items made from cow milk or cow's mm -hmm. milk um we call these items dairy products yeah good point so this is anything made from cow's milk including cow's milk <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um, no, I think we have covered everything. Okay, so now we have breakfast, um, mm. which already Anika and I both established or both said <laughs> that we, <laughs> we always eat. So Anika, mm. what foods do you eat for breakfast? I normally like sweet things for breakfast, although when I was uh, younger and was living in um, Asia, in Bangladesh and Malaysia, um, I used to have savory food for breakfast, like eggs were really common there. But okay, now so I have something like um, sweets, like biscuits or um, yeah, cereal sometimes, but mostly I have biscuits. Okay, so I just wanted to say, um, lots of people think the opposite of sweet food is salty food. Oh, so sweet yes. is like dolce, it's sugary, and the taste can be sweet or salty if you put lots of salt in the food. But mm -hmm. if you talk about categories of food, then we separate it into sweet and the opposite of that is savory food. Mm. So food with a salty taste is savory. Right. Um, okay, so Anika, you said now you eat more sweet food. Yes. And what about you, Jaden? What do you normally eat for breakfast? Um, I prefer, so again, I like more um mm -hmm. savory food i like eggs and i like avocados or toast um mm. etc but recently i have started eating more sweet food as well so mm. yogurt which is also a dairy product um because it comes from a cow so yogurt and some granola which is like cereal with chocolate in it mm -hmm. and some mm -hmm. berries and fruit okay very nice okay. very healthy <laughs> well nice. there is really a lot of chocolate in the granola <laughs> <laughs> um okay so here we have some examples ooh, of questions we can ask with some responses hey claudio how Hello, are you I'm more than a... fantastic it's really nice that you have joined us we're just talking about different types of food so please feel free to answer the question what do you eat for breakfast which is like the first meal in the day mm -hmm. um and anika and i can go through this conversation this dialogue Mm -hmm. um so anika what do you usually eat for breakfast 
For breakfast, I usually eat fruit and yogurt. Okay, and remember, guys, when we use the word usually, it doesn't mean always, 100% of the time, but a lot. So most days, Anika eats fruit and yogurt. And what do you usually drink for breakfast? For breakfast, I usually drink tea. Sometimes I drink juice. Never, I never drink coffee. Okay, it's kind of excellent. true for me, you know. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. What kind of juice do you drink? Oh no, the juice bit is not true. <laughs> okay. The okay, tea but the and the, the tea part. and coffee. Yeah. Okay, and it's a really good example of how we can use the adverbs of frequency. So just mm. a reminder, um, we have if you do something a hundred percent of the time, we say always. If you do it 80, 70% of the time, we can say usually or often. If you do it sometimes, we can say it's about 50% of the time. And if you never do something, then 0%. Um, and also, we put the adverb of frequency before the verb. So, I usually eat, I never drink. Hmm. Right. And oh, yeah, here okay. a comment. Nice. So do you want to read it, Anika? Sure. So he says for breakfast I usually eat um I usually drink milk or I have yogurt and mo mostly I think mostly is like a brand of uh cereals breakfast cereals. oh yeah M muesli is like granola it's like oats yeah. and stuff yeah but yeah so don't forget we eat food and we drink liquids um yeah and as anika said so when we talk about anything to do with food so breakfast lunch dinner etc we can use the main verb eat or we can use the main verb have so claudio you can say either for breakfast, I usually eat yogurt, or for breakfast, I usually have yogurt. And mm -hmm. both is okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. So then we have lunch. So, Anika, what foods mm -hmm. do you usually eat for lunch? Well, these days I, I've been um, eating a lot of pasta. So I would say I usually eat pasta for lunch. Okay. And if you don't um, eat pasta, what, uh, what um, else? Sometimes, or uh, I would say, yeah, sometimes I eat uh, rice um, in different forms. So the last time I ate rice, I made a rice salad out of it. With Ooh. tuna and some vegetables. Yeah. Okay. The, the other recipes are all like they take a lot of time. So it's something easy. I see. Um, so I usually eat pasta or rice for lunch. And what about you, JD? Yeah, I'm so for me, I sometimes have pasta mm -hmm. for lunch. And if I don't have pasta, then I usually have some kind of salad, but mm. with lots of <laughs> fried vegetables. <laughs> so I don't know how, how healthy that is. Um, usually I have fried aubergine, which is um, actually the French word, but we use the mm. French word for melanzane. Um, mm. So fried aubergines or fried zucchinis. And actually in English, we also use the French word um, which is a courgette. Hmm. So zucchini is courgette. Mm -hmm. And what do you call an aubergine? Yeah, I was just thinking about it. So an aubergine for me is an eggplant. Yeah, so that's more US. Um, yeah, so, um, and for zucchini, I call it a zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. The origin eggplant is... Um, and Claudia says, for lunch, I usually eat pasta or rice with vegetable. So, Claudio, do you only eat one vegetable 
or do you eat some vegetables? <laughs> um, so yeah, we if we're talking reg something we do regularly or generally, um, we tend to use the plural. So pasta and rice, we don't we say they are uncountable. So mm -hmm. we always talk about them in the singular. But for vegetables, we count vegetables. So we say the plural if we're talking generally. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we have some other kind of questions that we can ask people um, about their food or their eating habits. Mm -hmm. So Anika, what time do you usually eat lunch? I usually eat lunch at one. Um, is that, so I'm just is that reading true? it out from here. <laughs> well, it's not true for me. Uh, so actually, what about on you? different days, I eat lunch on different times. Oh, okay. Times. Okay, so then we say sometimes I eat lunch at 1 p.m. Sometimes I eat lunch at 12 p.m. Yeah. Sometimes okay. I even have lunch at 3 p.m. <laughs> wow. If I'm busy, I, don't, I say wow, but me is the same. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we so we already said, what do you usually eat for lunch? And you mm -hmm. answered, so usually you eat rice or pasta. Mm -hmm. Um, and who do you eat lunch with? <laughs> so I eat lunch alone these days <laughs> because Aww. I live on my own. So yeah. That's okay. But, but usually, so outside of the quarantine, <laughs> who do you eat oh, lunch right. with? Outside of the quarantine, I would have lunch uh, sometimes with colleagues or sometimes with friends, depending on the day itself. And if it's at the weekend, um, probably with friends. Oh, okay. That's nice. That is really and nice. And what about you? So for me, yeah, what time do I usually eat lunch? It changes. Um, and who do I e usually eat lunch with? Sometimes I eat lunch with my housemate. Mm -hmm. But if we eat lunch at different times, then I eat lunch alone. Mm. Okay, and Claudio, I usually eat lunch at 1.30 and I usually eat lunch alone. But in this period, I always eat lunch with my family. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. That's nice. It's a very, I think it's a really nice thing to eat with other people. It's just a nice yeah. experience. Um, I agree. So, and one other thing we can just point out is for this question, you can say, what time do you usually eat lunch? Or you can say, when do you usually eat lunch? Both are fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and finally we have dinner. So what do you eat for dinner, Anika? So I like to keep it light for dinner. So I sometimes have salads or something like some vegetables uh, with some bread for dinner. Okay. And yeah, what about you? Yeah, so like I said, uh, uh, usually I eat fish for dinner with with vegetables as well oh, yes. and some mm. kind of pulse. Um, mm. So what time or when do you usually have dinner? I usually have dinner at um, nine o'clock, but sometimes I have lunch. Uh, I have dinner really early around seven o'clock. I think more often I have dinner uh, at seven o'clock than at nine o'clock. So if I have lessons, I would have have it at nine. Ah, okay. So it depends on your schedule. Depends on my schedule. What okay, about you, and, David? and also Claudio, if you're still watching. Yeah, so again, for me, it changes. It depends on what I do in the day. Um, I don't mm -hmm. have a very good routine. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I want to ask both of you, actually, what is your favorite meal of the day? Oh, good question. I think my favorite meal is breakfast. Yeah? It's, um, yeah, because I eat some sweet things and I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, nice. So a sweet tooth. 
is um is, is what we call someone who likes to eat sweet or sugary things like cakes etc mm. um sorry i have a piercing in my ear and my uh <laughs> my <laughs> earphone is this horrible shape and it always hits my piercing oh gosh <laughs> It's very stressful, very stressful. <laughs> okay, so let us know, Claudio, uh, what do you usually mm. eat for dinner? When? And do you also eat dinner with your family in this period? Or do you like to have it alone? Mm. Um, so. Okay, so I think um, just for the end of the lesson, because this isn't really anything new. Um, we can just do a summary and I know you missed um, the beginning half of the lesson Claudio so if you have any questions feel free to ask us. Um, so we spoke about adverbs of frequency um, so on the right we have them in the correct order always is something we do a hundred percent of the time and never is something we do zero percent of the time um, and we always put the adverb of frequency before the main verb. Uh, then we categorize some different food and drink. Um, so into fruit, vegetables and other. And don't forget fruit is always singular, but vegetables and also drinks, there should be an S here. We say as plural. Um, and any items made from cow's milk, so milk and yogurt and cheese, we can also call dairy. OK. Um, and then we just spoke about different things that we eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And we looked at different questions we can ask people about their eating habits. So what do they usually eat or drink? Um, mm -hmm. as well as what time or when people usually eat certain meals of the day and who they normally eat food or drink with. Um, and finally, we also said that when we talk about any kind of food items or eating food, we can use the verb eat. So I eat food or we can use the verb to have Okay. Hmm. So Claudio here has a comment. He's saying, if I must go to a, a restaurant and I want to ask when is the time for dinner, which is the question, right? I'm not sure. Hmm. So, um, so I think what he means is um, when the restaurant is open for dinner. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so there are, there are different questions you can ask. One, like Anika said, you can say, um, when is the restaurant open for dinner? Or when is the restaurant serving dinner? Mm -hmm. Or when do they start serving dinner? Um, or if you are waiting already for dinner, you can just ask, um, how long is the wait? Or do you know uh, what the wait time is? And that is the time from when you ordered food to when it will be served to you. So if a restaurant mm. is very busy, maybe the wait time is like 40 minutes before you get your food. Mm. Yeah, so you can say, yeah. Uh, mm. Okay. So we're almost uh, at the end of the lesson. Mm. So I know Claudia has missed the first half of the lesson, but you can always go back and uh, watch it later on. Uh, but we really appreciate your comments and your questions. So thank you for joining us. And for anyone else watching later on, I hope this has been useful. Yeah. OK, great. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.